Yeah, and it it's very, and it's not conservative or liberal or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, in academia, there were people who acknowledged my contributions and respected me for it. And there were people who were outrightly dismissive of what I did. Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say, because there is a central norm, right? If you are in a literature department, there are powerful people who think what literary studies is. And that's the norm. And then you mm -hmm. are either a token hire or someone who doesn't do Shakespeare and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and hence maybe less important. Um, mm -hmm. But I think what I saw as a privileged position was the students. Yeah. Students who came to us, who were curious, mm -hmm. who acknowledged that our presence mattered to them in that department, uh, mm -hmm. that, that our work was important to them, and that's the mm -hmm. kind of work they wanted to do. So mm -hmm. I think you have, must have experienced it also. And of course, Saeed did was that Mm -hmm. You learn mm -hmm. to fight your battles, but you also learn to relish mm -hmm. the good that you encounter. Because mm -hmm. if we just focus, if we walk into this world with a chip on our shoulder, it can be a terrible experience because there are so many things when mm -hmm. we live in exile mm -hmm. that send us signals of you know non-acceptance or hostility mm. sometimes. Mm. Mm. And uh, I think that's it's important to focus on whatever positive the world throws at us. <laughs> yeah, and it's also like, you know, the politics of the right anywhere, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Scotland, mm. UK, United States, uh, the politics of the right is always going to be more powerful because it's it relies on emotions right mm -hmm. and if you look at how we make decisions it's the midbrain that makes our decisions for our, us and the midbrain is connected to emotions yeah. the rational brain at the end after we've already made a decision comes and gives us a rationalization so the politics of the left are politics of logic, statistics. Here is mm. what we have done. Here is how many roads we have built. And here is mm. what we'll do to the school system. Your children will have access to health care. Those are all mm. rational policies. The mm. politics mm. of the right is these brown people are going to come and take over your land. You are becoming extinct in your own land. You are being replaced. We will make sure no one takes your place, we will make sure you remain the dominant group. Those are politics of the emotions. They sell mm -hmm. better, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You can always tell people someone is out to get them and mobilize them. Mm -hmm. So against that, I always go back to Freire. And even mm -hmm. Saeed is that we must also mobilize a politics of love, care, mm -hmm. And mm. and then imbue it with policy and all that. Mm. But there is a famous uh, instance where it becomes clear in American politics is when I think it was the second Reagan Carter debate. You mm. know, Reagan would give his opinions about all, and Carter was like, "In my presidency, seventy-five percent of people have done this. Sixty-five percent people have <laughs> access to health care." And Reagan would sit down and say, "There you go, Mr. President, talking about statistics again." I mean, that was a moment where you realize that it was going to be the rhetorical flourish, mm. and not facts that will be mm. important to people. Uh, mm. So, I don't know. I mean, uh, I have tried to train myself to to write politically, and I, most of my written work, if you have read it, is a politically strident work, mm. but mm. to do it from a place of love so that mm. at least those whom I am opposing will at mm. least read it you know, before they mm -hmm. make up their mind. Mm -hmm. I don't know how effective that is, but 
there is a lot to learn from Paolo Freire. I mean, mm. I've read that book a hundred times, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. And, okay. mm. and, and from Saeed, I mean, even though towards the end of his life, you know, he, he was disappointed and angry at the world. Mm. But, mm. but I mean, for someone such as him to fight all his life for, for, mm. you know, for the rights of his own people and see not getting anywhere, I, I can understand that kind of frustration. Mm.